everyone, so today I am doing a lip swatch video. I'm a little nervous because I am swatching my ColourPop lipstick collection and I have just a few so this video is probably going to be a little bit longer than a normal lip swatch video. I will link and list all of the shades down below for you in case you're interested. The reason I love these is because one, they are super affordable. I think they're only five US dollars each. They do ship to New Zealand and Australia now. I believe they ship to the USA, Canada and a couple other places and I'm sure they will soon be shipping worldwide because they are expanding their shipping services, you know? They only just started shipping in New Zealand and Australia, so I thought I would swatch all of these. Lots of you have requested it, so here it is. This is what the packaging looks like. I actually really, really, really like the packaging. It's in kind of like a pen form, and then when you open it, it's got like the shade of what the colour inside is like, and then you just twist it, and it's just like an oval slanted shape, so it's actually really, really good for applying to the lips because it's kind of small. Like it's not tiny, but it's really easy to get a really precise line. And it also helps to prevent the lipstick from snapping off in the heat and everything because it does go all the way down into the little barrel. I definitely want to collect all of the shades. I want the rest. I love them so much. Some of them last longer than others because there are a few different kind of formulas. The matte ones obviously last a bit better than the glossier ones. Um, but overall, for the price especially, I think they are fantastic and the colour range is phenomenal. So without further ado, we should probably get started because this is going to take a while. This first one here is called Skimpy and it is a gloss finish. These smell really good as well. So that there is what Skimpy looks like. It is a pale pinky kind of flesh tone colour. It reminds me of Flesh Pot by Make A Bit. Next up is BFF and this is another glossy finish. Compared to the last one, this one is a little bit more peachy um, and a little tiny little bit darker. It's a really, really healthy looking nude on my skin tone. Next up is Tipsy. This is one of my favourites. Another glossy formula. Sorry if the lighting keeps changing. It's super windy outside and the sun keeps going behind the clouds and out of the clouds and behind the clouds and out of the clouds. And it's just messing up everything. So again, this one is called Tipsy. Um, a little bit more peachy again from the last one, a little bit more bright. I feel like this is a very, very wearable kind of peach colour. Next up is Button, and this is a satin finish. This kind of colour is super on trend at the moment. A little bit of a darker nude, or if you're a medium to darker skin tone, it will be a perfect light nude on you. Next up is Cake, and this is another glossy one, more of a pinky shade. I love this shade as well. It's the perfect kind of light pink colour. If you love a good light pink, you need this one in your life. And the next one here is called a Cookie and this is a matte shade. For a matte shade, this is super, super creamy to apply. It goes, and this here, it goes on really smoothly and it doesn't dry out your lips in the slightest. Again, a really, really good nude for medium to darker skin tones or if you're fair or my kind of complexion, it looks really, really nice for the like Kylie Jenner kind of look. Next here I have Pony and this is a satin shade. Kind of reminds me of Snob by MAC. Yeah, it's like Snob but more on the purple side. This colour is quite unique. Like it reminds me of colours like Saint Germain and Snob except way more purpley. I really like it. I haven't actually worn this one before. It's a really really beautiful kind of soft pink purple. Okay this is definitely a new favourite. <laughs> Next up I have Frida and this is a satin colour. This colour is super beautiful and super wearable. If you're not very brave with your lip colours it's such a natural kind of pinky colour. Next up I have Gossip which is another satin. The shade is more of a darker bright pink. It's a little tiny bit cool toned. It's super beautiful. It's almost like a bright shade without being too in your face, like it's a little bit toned down, but still really vibrant. The next one here is called Fetch. This is a satin. It's a little bit darker again. This is a really, really good shade for people that like to keep their makeup looking really, really natural. Um, but it'll kind of kick your look up a notch because it's a little bit brighter, but it doesn't look insanely bright it's just like I don't know it's like the perfect amount of color next up we have punky and this is a satin 
This one is super bold, a little bit warmer toned. It's actually a super beautiful color. I really, really, really like this one as well. Next up, we have one of my all-time favorites. This one here is called Rocket, and it is a satin. This is the perfect mid-tone pink, warm undertones, but still bright. I just think it is so girly, so feminine, so beautiful. Definitely a favorite of mine, and I want to buy a backup. Okay, at this point, my lips are killing me. <laughs> I still have so many to go. Okay, next is Trixie, and this is a satin. Okay, so this shade is a really, really dark, warm tone pink. It's not necessarily bright. It's more of just a bold kind of pink color. If you like a bold lip, but you don't like anything too bright or neon, perfect. Next up, we have Tuxedo, which is a hyper glossy formula. This shade has one word to describe it, and that is awesome. Oh my gosh, it is so bright. It's kind of like halfway between purple and pink. Super glossy, super bright, super neon. I love it. Next is Scandi, and it is a satin shade. This one is just a really cool tone pink, quite matte. Next up, I'm gonna go back to a peachy color. This is called Brunch, and it is a satin. This is so beautiful. It's halfway peach, halfway orange. Love this shade. Next up is Yasmin, and this is a matte shade. It almost comes off on my lips like a kind of muted red shade, so if you like the kind of orangey red, peachy red shades, then this one will be a good one for you. I'm starting to look like the Joker. This one here is called Chi Chi, and it's a satin. Awful application, but this one is just a really nice kind of deep orange shade. This would look amazing on dark skin, but I do feel like any skin shade could wear this because it would look amazing on super fair people and awesome on super dark people. So there you go. Next up, we're going to do some reds. This one is called Click and this is a matte shade. This shade is definitely up my alley. It's kind of slightly orange tone, but it is very, very red. It's not an orange at all, but it's got that kind of undertone to it. I love it. Next is Frenchy, and this one looks a little bit more pinky. This one is just the perfect classic red. Kind of pinky undertones, super beautiful. And then the other red I have is called Confetti, and this is a hyper glossy shade. ultimate favorite red. Holy crap, this is amazing. It is so beautiful. It's a deeper red. It is kind of neutral to slightly pink undertoned. I love this. I love the hyper glossy ones because I love a good glossy lip. You do not need to top this with a lip gloss at all. Oh my god, favorite. Now I'm going to dabble in some purples and some deeper shades. This shade here is called Brills and it is a satin. So as you can see, this one's just a lavender purple shade. I do feel like it makes my teeth look a little bit yellow, but if you're interested in trying out purples and lavenders and things, this one's a good affordable one. Super creamy, super opaque. Such a cool color, but not on my teeth. Next up we have Grind, which is a matte shade, a darker purple. It's kind of like a grape color. So that's how that one there looks. Such a cool color. This one doesn't make my teeth look yellow either. This would also look amazing on really dark skin tones. Next is another pinky purple. This one's called Wifey and it is a satin. That's how that one looks. I love this one. Such a cool color. Very, very out there. Definitely super bold and quite bright. Next up is Heart On and this is a matte shade. Another kind of grapey purple color, a little bit more raspberry colored. Listen to me with all my weird like color definitions and color descriptions. It's called Flawless and this is a satin shade. I'm gonna call this one Boysenberry. <laughs> Super cool kind of vampy color without being too dark. Next up is called Cheers. This is another matte shade. I'm actually a really big fan of this color. Again, it's kind of like that boysenberry kind of shade, quite vampy without being too, too dark. I think it really brings out the green in my eyes as well. So if you have green eyes, 
I think this might be a winner for you. Next up is another matte called Lady. It reminds me of something that Khloe Kardashian would wear. Really like this shade. Next is Tutu, another matte shade. They are starting to look very similar. This one is almost the exact same as the last one I had on, except it has a little bit more raspberry red in it. <laughs> I look so attractive right now. Crap. Next we have Dahlia, which again is matte. I love this one. I don't know how it's different to the other two, but I feel like it just is better. It's a little bit more burgundy, I think. Yeah, definitely more burgundy. Really, really like this one. And now we are on to the final, which is Creature. And it is again a matte. And this one is just a little bit more purple than the other ones. So there you have it. That is my ColourPop Lippy Stick collection. Definitely going to collect the rest of them. I basically love almost every single shade. Some of the colours are super unique. Some of them are just really good staples. There's quite a few like MAC dupes I feel like. I love the formula. The Hyper Glossy is probably my favourite. But what I like about them is that even the matte ones like this one here, um, they aren't super drying or anything and they don't make your lips look like a butthole. I'm sure some of you have seen that meme floating around. <laughs> Even after just wiping off and reapplying like 30 lipsticks, my lips aren't looking terrible with the colour on top of them. They do have a really nice finish and they're quite forgiving on dry lips. I hope you guys found this helpful. If you have any more questions about the products, feel free to leave your questions down below and I'll see if I can answer those for you. If you did enjoy this, please thumbs up, share it with your friends, share it on Twitter. I would love you forever. Have an amazing day and I will talk to you very soon. Bye! An all kind of step, I thought I would add a little bit more highlight because I love the dewy look with this. And that is the completed look. Super pretty. It has that element of natural to it where it's just really soft and naturally beautiful. But it also has... And then it'll be like... And it goes all over my clothing. And it's so hard to get foundation out of clothing. I read on Pinterest, apparently you can use shaving cream on top of the like foundation on your clothing and it helps to get it up. But I haven't tried it yet. If any of you guys have tried it, you should let me know. But I swear, like 